Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Anvil Vault Breakers. This is a new roguelike that is currently in early access on Steam and I have to say this is one of those games that I have played with my Discord community. I have streamed it multiple times and what it has going for it is the fun factor. It is a whole lot of fun. You are basically Master Chief and you get to pick your character and you fight hordes of bugs and a whole bunch of different enemies and it really is a fun game. And today I have three different things to talk to you about. We're going to take a look at the early access roadmap that has now been officially launched. We're going to talk about the January update and three events that they are coming out that are coming out for Anvil Vault Breakers. Now, before we begin, you probably know what I'm going to say. It's early 2022. I'm hoping today is the day, if you think I've earned it, that you will decide to push that little red button. Yes, make the decision today to subscribe. Totally helps me and pushes the channel forward in 2022. I would truly appreciate it. All right, as always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. Right now, I am on the official Steam page for Anvil Vault Breakers, and this is the early access roadmap, okay? We've been waiting for this for a while because we want to see what the future holds for this new, very fun rogue like. Now we're going to skip everything about the January update because that's already out. So we're going to be able to cover that in detail. But for February, this is actually the most exciting part. If you are playing Anvil is we have a new breaker named Quake. And what's cool about Quake, very different. You see his arms right here. They are drills. Drill arms. You can see the drill gauntlet outside side inside drill gauntlet number two outside side inside and drill gauntlet number three my favorite outside side inside so that'll be pretty cool that is uh, quake is coming in february as we continue down they're going to be gearing up for seasons for this game okay and this is really all you need to know new character in february and then March, we will have season one, June, season two, September, season three and December, season four. OK, new character four new seasons and all dropping inside of 2022. And obviously, I will link this in the description. So if you want to go through and actually see what each season is going to give and what their plan is, obviously, all that is detailed into the roadmap. And all of this is tentative until we actually get it. OK. The first thing we covered is the roadmap. Now we're going to check out the actual details for the January update. OK, so these are the main points for January on Anvil. There's now going to be a practice area for new players, or I guess anybody could really play it. But basically what it's to do is difficulty level will be decreased by 25 percent and you'll get some starting gold. Now, this won't unlock the second set of planets and this won't unlock your relic slot, but a lot of people can't beat the first set of planets. So now you just have another stepping stone you can go through to try and work on your skill. On top of that, the third set of planets, they're decreasing the level difficulty by 25% and you will still unlock the fourth relic slot by completing it. And they've added two harder modes. So now you have hard mode on camp, and this is going to be 10% overall compared to the previous. And then you have extreme mode, which is going to be what we know the difficulty level is for the third set of planets now with 30% increased faster attack speed and movement speed by enemies. OK, so extreme sounds pretty darn hard, seeing as that we couldn't even get through the first couple sets of bosses when we were playing it over stream. OK, so the third set of planets is now easier, but offers two more harder modes and a practice mode. All right. When you look at battle improvements, um, I'm going to link this in the description so you can go through and read it for yourself. But the big one here is players can now cancel breakers skills by using basically their movement or their shield. So if you're in the middle of a skill and you don't want to do it anymore, you can hit your dash or teleport or shield and you will cancel it. OK, change counterattack a little bit. We were talking as a discord last night and I couldn't believe they did this screen shake increase depending on damage has been added. I don't know why games continue to put this on. I hope that there's an option to turn it off. Most people do not like screen shake. At least that's in my opinion. So get rid of that. 
Status effect improvements. Freeze and burn are going to be a whole lot better. And boss resistances have changed from 50% to zero. You probably didn't even know this if you're playing Anvil, but bosses start with 50% resistance. So that's now gone. So as far as burning them or or freezing them, it's going to be a lot easier. And now there's actually going to be a visual icon under the boss boss's health that shows what ailment is on them. So that seems good, too. I'm not going to talk about the emotes. Don't care about that. Additional improvements. They're adding some languages. This is what I care about the most. Bo uh, bugs. Fixed in issues where players were blocked out of boss layers. This happened all the time and two different times that I was streaming with friends. You go to fight the boss and one person is trapped on the other side of the wall. An absolutely infuriating bug because it automatically kills it. So kills the run because there's nothing you can do. And that's where we're at. So I'm not going to read the rest of this. But those are the big things. They fixed bugs. They changed difficulty, they added harder modes, they changed um, ailments. So it is a pretty meaty January update for Anvil Vault Breakers. But we're still not done. We talked about the roadmap, we talked about the January update. We also have events. Yes, we do. So the first event is a clear event for the first set of planets and how to participate. You have to take a screenshot of yourself clearing it and upload it to the Discord with your ID. 50 players will be chosen to win 1,000 Kron coupons. Okay. Second event is the Jungler event, and this is literally, if net users of the Jungler, for all users reach 1,000, Gold Hound will be given to everyone. Okay. So basically, you just need to log in and play the Jungler once. You don't even need to clear the planet. I think that is going to be easy. So if we all do that, just play the jungler, we are going to get the gold hound. So that's good. And then event number three is clear the second set of planets with the jungler. If you do that, 30 players will be entered to win a $30 Steam gift card. That's what's up. That's what's new and exciting for Anvil. If you have not played this game yet, this is a game that I recommend. It is really fun to play single player. It is way more fun to play with friends. It really is an in-depth road rogue like. Three new events. January update is live and we have the roadmap. So that's it. I want to know your opinion. Have you played Anvil Vault Breakers? Did you like it? Are you thinking about getting it? Are these updates making you excited for the future? Let me know in the comment section below. Like I said earlier, I stream this game on Twitch. This is actually normally my change of pace game. So if I'm playing something for six hours and people are like, do something else, we boot up Anvil Vault Breakers. Always a good time. First link in the description if you'd like to go over there and support me on Twitch. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,400 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this Anvil Vault Breakers update. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.